Oh, what's good, G Life? It's your boy MC Shadow back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out the playlist. The playlist on top of my videos and no footage makes the video you're looking for a lot easier. You know what I mean? Don't forget to check out my second channel, Man Society MOD, where we talk about stuff outside of the streets. Now, what I wanted to do in today's video is paint the paint the picture to everybody, you know, who's not aware or doesn't know. Uh, that way they get an understanding because right here I'm the non-biased individual, probably the most non-biased individual you'll probably see on YouTube. I call it how it is, no bullshit. I don't play favoritism to no side. I simply call it how it is. Um, now, for I'm using the gang map right here, but for those who are not aware, you could go and check this yourself, or, you know, verify it. Uh, for those who want to talk shit and be like, nah, your info's wrong and this and that, my info comes from individuals from those gangs, and I doubt you know more than the people from those actual gangs. So if you heard something else, Despensa, what can I tell you? My info comes from them, uh, you know. Now, when people think of Los Angeles, they think that, the Sureño gangs bulldozer everybody. They think we have it on lockdown, that, you know, we run this bitch and and wooty wooty wa, that there's no obstacle courses in front of us besides ourselves because we do beef it with ourselves. But no, that is not the case. You have a lot of crib and blood gangs too, not just Sureño. As you can tell from right here, uh, you know, Los Angeles, yeah, you do have, you know, South Flows right there. You have Street Saints. Uh, you have the um, uh, Villa Boys and all that. But look, you have Bounty Hunter Bloods, 118 East Coast Cribs, um, you know, Carver Park Compton Cribs. You have 135 Pie Rules, you know. You have the Park Pie Rules right there. You have the Treetop Pie Rules, uh, Fruit Towns. You have the, the, um, the you know, bunch of Lingwood Varios. You have the... Uh, Elm Street Pie Rouge, you have the um, Compton Cribs, Kelly Park Cribs, uh, Southside Compton Cribs, you have the Spooktown Cribs, um, you know, you have uh, Farm Dog Compton Cribs, you, know, you have Park, you have the Pie Rouge right there, more Pie Rouge, uh, you have the, you know, Backstreet Watts Cribs, you have the Husser Cribs, Kitchen Cribs, uh, you know, look at that, Denver Lane Gangster Cribs, look, see, so with Hispanic gangs, you also have, you know, mixture with, you know, black gangs. Too the Hoover criminals right there. You got more cribs right here. Look at that. Look at that crib, crib, crib. This area is practically pure black gangs. Look at that. No, no Hispanic gangs. You know what I mean? Um, so as many as many uh Hispanic gangs that you see, you have a lot of black gangs too. You know what I mean? Um, you know, so it's not like oh that it's just Sureños that run this whole entire bitch. Nah, look the Venice Gangster Brims, Rolling Forties, Fruit Town Brims, you know, the P Stones. You see, and then you have Sureño gangs intermixed with with in their vatos too. You know, they share territories. You know, like the West uh, Boulevard Crips right there, and the 18th Streeters right there, the Village Stone uh, Bloods, the P Stones, Schoolyards. You know, uh, Mafia Gangster Crips. I'm telling you. So within the mix of Hispanic gangs, you have a lot of uh, Pyro gangs a lot of uh uh um crib gangs as well you see if, you, if you're able to see right here east coast and then let me zoom in a little bit more uh you know that way we get these hoods popping up uh, you know what i mean this is my cheap internet you feel me got that obama plan you got the hat gangs the hat gang watch cribs right there um some of these neighborhoods takes a while to load up there we go oh gotta zoom in a little bit more beach town um you, you see what I, but you guys get the picture now, you guys are probably thinking, ah, oh, Shadow War, probably those gangs are small, you know, and that's why the homies be bulldozing them. So, so now here's some pictures of the actual gangs themselves, you know what I mean? Uh, when we're talking about cribs uh, and, and um, other sets around the area, you know, for people might think, ah, oh, well, they must be little gangs and the homies are way bigger. Because, you know, you guys follow my channel. You guys see, you know, the homies always deep, you know, when I do the videos. There's a lot of homies, but as many homies, look at how these gangs get big too. You know, when we're talking about cribs, you know what I mean? Look at all these cribs. These are crib gangs right here. Look at the size of them. There's a lot of individuals, you know what I mean? And they got bloods right here. You got the bloods, pyrus. Look how big they are as well. You feel me? Like, so these are not just small gangs or whatever. When people think that the homies have this shit on lockdown or, or, or we got nothing to worry about or, or man, this shit's a easy, it's a wrap for us, a piece of cake, a walk in the park. No, bro. And and, and 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 that map only showed Crips and Bloods, but they didn't even show the Asian gangs. Look at the Asian neighborhoods. So you got the Asian neighborhoods on top of that because, you know, some of them are Pyru, some of them are Bloods, some of them are Cribs. You know what I mean? And look how large they are as well. So don't think that, or, you know, Tiny Rascals, you know, don't think these gangs are small that we could just, you know, punk these individuals or, or people think that we punk these individuals because we outnumber them. That's not the case, bro, because they have numbers too. And you know when numbers comes power, you know, we come 
with power comes a whole lot of tripping. Okay? Now, I say all of that to say this, you know, to end in this topic right here. So I get a lot when I talk about videos and they say Sudeños are racist, that uh, we hate um, blacks and stuff like that. And one of the biggest things that I always see is people always say, well, you guys put FNs on the wall, like you see right here, F, you know, obviously the N word, but I blurred it out. Don't want to disrespect none of my, you know, brothers, um, you know, so there is homies that do that, right? And here's another thing. You see the bottom one? That's a crib gang. They put fuck taco. You know, fuck tacos, taco, uh, beaners, wet bag. They put all of that. This is a perfect example of what, what I mean by this. Uh, you know, when they put taco, they're referring to Mexicans. They attack, you know, they hate Mexicans. They attack anybody that they see Mexican. They attack them, right, as, as revenge or as uh, retaliation, right? Now, is there racist individuals in these groups? Yes, there's homeboys that don't like blacks, and there's blacks that don't like homeboys. That's a known fact. I had brought up stories where I had been jumped by black gangs because I was Mexican, not because of my affiliation, but because I was Mexican. Uh, I've been insulted, you know, been called, you know, wetback and beaners and stuff like that. You know, I heard it, you know, and I live in this area. So I see the writing on the wall, not just by, you know, Hispanic gangs, but by black gangs. So people can't say that I'm lying, making this up. Or if anybody comes on here and says that I'm lying or anything like that, you're in denial. You're, you're full of shit and you're the one that's being biased, bro. I only come and tell you how it is. I'm not saying that homies don't do it. Homies do do it. Now, one of the mistakes that people always say is that they put NK. Not every, not all NK means, you know, for black. Some put it for, for neighborhoods that start with N, represent the N that we, you know, because my neighborhood does it, but it doesn't mean for blacks. We do it for other gangs that use the N. Uh, just because I don't want to insult my enemies. I don't want I'm not going to name those gangs. Uh, and other gangs do it the same way as well. You know what I mean? And there's cliques that are NK, but, you know, natural killers and stuff like that. So it doesn't all mean... You know, what people think it means, you know, that's people's um, bias or uh, the way that they already see it polluting their minds from them to to actually uh, make clear judgment. Like if you really don't know what that NK means, then you can't assume because assumptions are never facts. Remember that. OK, you know, so when people say nah, black gangs don't put fuck wetbacks or fuck taco eaters or fuck Mexicans on the wall, bro. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And yes, they call us tacos. Why? I don't know, bro. <laughs> it never made any sense to me, but whatever. I see it on the wall. Uh, one of the gangs that, that used to do it a lot was the East Coast uh, East Coast Cribs. They used to ride a whole lot of F Mexicans and all that shit. Uh, you know, going down Compton, driving where the Superior is at, all those walls used to be, you know, F Mexicans, F wetbacks, you know. But yeah, bro, I ain't lying about this shit, dog. If anybody comes and says that I'm lying, bro, you full of shit, dog. I only come and tell you how it is. Black gangs in those areas, you've seen the pictures, they, they're deep, right? So they, they do take advantage of Hispanics. They punk paisas, they rob paisas, they bully them, they make fun of them when they're walking home from work, uh, off the bus. They do do that shit. Fools can't even say that they don't. They do do that shit. But Hispanics do it as well. Not only to our own people, because there's Hispanics do it to our own people too, but not just our own people, but to the blacks as well. You know, because when they're in the numbers like that and, and they're on drugs and they just think that they're tough, uh, they just bully anybody. So it's just becomes uh, it's not because they're Mexican or because they're black. It's just because they're there and they just want to cause some havoc and they just happen to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. It's fucked up. It has to be that way. It's kind of it shouldn't have to be. I know that. And now gangs don't do that no more. You know, but back then, you know, it was very, you know, they used to do it a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, until now, people started putting hint in on Glecha. Like, hey, fool, don't be doing that. Leave them people alone. You know what I mean? Putting them up on game because now there's more communication. Before there was hardly no communication, people were able to get away with stupid behaviors like that. Um, but they would occur. Doesn't mean that that gang is racist or them group of individuals are racist because they're not. Because there's a lot of black sureños. You know, I have uploaded a video that had over 509 pictures in them and they all had uh, up to one or three blacks in them. So that if you count 509 pictures, so and there's more than three blacks in those pictures, then that's a total of more than 509 black sureños. For a racist gang, that's a lot of individuals to allow into your organization that claims to be racist. It's not that this group of individuals is racist, and that's why people could be like, man, these fools are traitors to their own race. How can they be in a, in a Hispanic gang that puts F in? It's never done because they, they hate these blacks, so that's how they see them. They do it to antagonize these groups. If you put F Mexican, of course you're going to get these fools mad, and of course they're going to come back. Same, you know, you go and put FNs and get in them mad, and, and then they'll retaliate. It's to, it's, to, it's to really grind it into them, right? To really get them mad, to really stick it to them. To, to a a antagonize them to come. 
Um, so it's never done because you actually see these individuals in that manner, but because it's part of the fucking madness, it's stupid. I know shouldn't be done, but like I said, so when people be like, Eastside Longos races it in, then I upload videos and they have blacks in them. They're like, how's that even possible? Exactly. You don't understand the dynamics behind the streets. It's not about racism, bro. When people go, oh, they were throwing cocktails, you know, firebombing houses and everything. You don't know the backstories. You don't know what was going on. If it was drug debts or, or that gang, that house was selling drugs or, or anything of that manner. I'm not saying that that was what, what was occurring. I'm just saying, if you don't know the full story and you're just assuming Remember, assumptions are never facts. And of course, the media and the news is not going to tell you guys the true story. It's not going to put it all out there. You know what I mean? Of course, they're going to want to paint these guys as the image. The reason why they, people see us in this manner is because Discovery Channel, Gangland, and all those shows have always pushed that narrative. And don't tell me that's not where you guys got your information from. That's where you guys got your information from, from Gangland and documentaries like that. You guys are full of shit, bro. Oh, nah, that media doesn't know what's going on. Nah, them fools are like, what are they going to know? But when it comes to the Sureños, it's all facts. But when it comes to anything else, ah, man, they full of, they don't know what's up. Are you going to believe the media? But with the homies, that's that's facts, huh? Pick and choose. Nah, bro, you don't know what it is. You're just assuming. Assumptions are never facts. Homies are not racist, bro. And both groups play these games. Both groups do what they claim the other does. Hispanics, punk, blacks, and stuff like that. Blacks, punk, Hispanics, and shit like that, too. Vice is it, tip for tap, bro. That's how it goes. Now, since then, relationships have been better. Uh, there's not as much of that. You see a lot of, you know, a lot of gangs have came to the table and smashed their differences, like the East Coast Cribs and the Florence. That was a big one. The, the Inglewood gangs, the Inglewood Hispanic gangs and black gangs, that was a big one. Um, you know... Uh, it, it, other areas, you know, like the uh, Riverside, uh, Eastside Rivas, and, the, you know, the Cribs over there, you know, that was a big one. So, you know, a lot of people are putting their differences aside, and I get it. In some areas where there's not that many black gangs and there's more Hispanic gangs, like in the like in the A1A, like the Pacoima Pyrublas, I they beef with a lot of Hispanic gangs, so they don't get to see uh, what the other black gangs do in other parts of the area for them to be like, see, I've been attacked for my race and by black, by Cribs and Bloods. Uh, but I never went and started saying that them fools are racist, you know, because I know that I know that not all of them individuals are like that. Only some of them are like that. And an individual's action only speaks for himself, not for the group. So you can't judge a group based on a few stupid individuals. That's the, re that's the reason I never came out and said that these blacks are racist. Because I know it only speaks on these individuals, not the whole group. But yet with us, for a few individuals, a few individuals uh, opinions. They want to paint all of us like that. You don't get to do that. And that's why there could be black sureños. And why people are scratching their heads. is because your bias is getting the best of you. Tell me I'm lying, bro. Because what you're saying and what the facts are saying is two different things. Believe it in the comments. Care to hear your opinion? Um, these are just, you know, I only come with the evidence. Shut up, we out.